Swadik up and welcome on a special Phuket Extra report. Today we're going to look behind what the media is currently reporting and check out the investigative and immediate capabilities of social media in this ghastly incident. The numbers we report are the most current at the time of recording, but with a situation like this the toll will sadly increase as the official investigation continues. But to start off today's special report, let's start with what we actually know. Central Bangkok was thrown into chaos last night when a bomb exploded at the popular Racha Prasong intersection, killing a confirmed 21 people, as reported in the Bangkok Post. Chinese, Hong Kong, Japanese, Malaysian, Singaporean and Filipino citizens have been reported by their media as amongst the casualties. Many in the hospital nearby remain in a critical condition. Police confirmed that at least 125 people have been injured. The explosion occurred just before 7pm near the Arawan Shrine on the intersection, a popular meeting location for locals and tourists, surrounded by five-star hotels and shopping malls. The TNT pipe bomb scattered body parts across the Racha Prosong intersection, splattering blood, blasting windows and burning motorbikes right back to the bare metal. The impact of the massive explosion had a 40 metre zone in which any person was killed instantly. The explosion left a 2 metre wide crater in the ground at the epicentre of the blast. Now in the age of mega security, CCTV cameras, dash cams and mobile phones, there was a lot of video captured of the actual event. This one has been shown a lot and shows the severity and the size of the explosion, lighting up the entire area with the conflagration. Now here's another angle from a Chinese tourist who was walking over the BTS walkway which is about 50 metres above the road level. Here's a dash cam view from a taxi which had been through the intersection. And here are a few other angles capturing the moment this ghastly bomb exploded. Social media is now widely distributing this series of photos which shows a suspect wearing a backpack before the explosion and emerging from the area immediately before the event without the backpack. There's also been a list of victims' names released in social media that would suggest that more than 90% of the people killed were Chinese or had Chinese names. Local investigative Facebook site CSILA with more than 450,000 followers has posted a photo they believe could be the same man with a massive backpack. The Thai police will be conducting a thorough and full investigation and will surely be going through this crowdsourced examination. CSILA are even reporting a series of photos that indicate a woman found the bag, allegedly the bomb, took it to security as a lost and found item and was told she should put it back in the same place. This is just another thread of the keyboard investigators, but it shows the breadth and the immediacy of how modern day investigations can take place. If, as has been suggested by the Thai police and officials, it's proven to be a local terrorist attack with disenfranchised political opponents trying to upset the current government's reform agenda, then you could imagine it could provide ammunition to the junta to push the dates for a new election further down the track. Well that's all for our short investigation on last night's bombing in Bangkok. Of course the story will continue to unfold in coming hours and coming days. You can keep tuned to thepuketnews.com or our affiliates bangkokpost.com for the latest information. But let's check on tomorrow's weather as we continue with Phuket Extra. And checking the weather, one of our hottest days we've had for a while. Tonight we've got mild conditions, partly cloudy. Tomorrow 32 and some thunderstorms expected each day as we look through the forecast period. 
And heading to the west coast, we've got a strong northwesterly wind of 23 to 30 kilometres an hour. And we've got a swell from the southwest, as usual this time of the year, of up to 0.4 of a metre. Tomorrow sunrise at 6.18am. Well, that's all for Phuket Extra today. And let's hope we're back tomorrow with some better news for you. Thanks for joining us.